Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm pretty proud to be opening something not really very new but one that I really have some great respect for and it's a Yamaha CDN301. This is a pretty budget model. It's a CD player but it's got a lot more going on than just that. Um, I guess as people migrate away from a physical media, a CD and other things like that, but still have a, a drawer or a box full of them, it's difficult to find a really well implemented product that bridges the gap between the physical media of CD and the electronic side of things, network, streaming, streaming, getting music off your phone, all of those things, and this one, for its money, does a bloody good job. Really, really happy with it. Okay, Yamaha CDN301. Let's have a look. Firstly, like most of Yamaha's boxes, this thing is pretty muted in design. It's a plain brown box. It's um, sellotaped top and bottom, factory taped. Uh, serial number information is just on one edge. Um, on the top, there's a lot of information relating to the compliance. Um, iPhone, iPad, to name just a few. Um, this relates to the le legality side of the, the, the network and other interconnectivity that these products have to offer. A um, bit of information on the top, other than the compliance stuff I mentioned. We've got a pictorial on each end, and then on the bottom, pretty boring. Okay, so let's have a look. Opening these products is really, really easy. It's um, sellotape, essentially, so very straightforward as far as nicking and tearing it open. Now, it's worth noting, see how I sort of nicked it and then just sort of pulled the rest of it? It means that the craft knife doesn't have to walk all the way across the box and potentially damage or cut what's inside. Nice little trick. 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 Okay. So, looking at it, it's very well appointed. Excellent packaging. Great polystyrene and other things like that. It's certainly going to come to you in one piece. If we look at the accessories, we're going to start with the AA batteries. There's very basic instruments. Um, I'll be honest. Uh, they're not expensive, they're not designed to be. Uh, most people that invest in a decent CD player will have a better set, which is probably why they've only got the budget ones in here. Nevertheless, look your hood up, check that it's going. It's nice to have a little freebie. There's the remote control. Now the remotes, um, this product is probably going to be used via an app or something like that on your phone, but it's still nice to see that they've got a reasonable quality remote. It's, it's plastic, although it's designed to look like it is uh, metallic in some way. There's polystyrene on the top, and uh, the power cord. So the power cords take that first piece of polystyrene. This is a New Zealand figure eight power cord, a little over a metre long. A bit more packaging, and uh, we get into some of the things that come with it. So I mean, yeah, manual accessories, those types of things. Uh, there's a warranty card. The product itself is really easy to have a get out of the box and have a quick look at it. The CD player itself isn't very big and isn't very heavy, um, so getting it out is easy. The, um, this protective paper, I kind of call it poly paper, uh, I made that up, um, it, it's not a word that seems to mean anything. Basically it's uh, got a soft texture on both sides, although one side is, um, is sort of sealed in some way. It means that this product is going to be protected and is going to be scratch free in transit. Then, okay. So you'll see also, because it's a CD player, the CD tray is actually protected in transit. Two things. It's got some tape to keep it closed and this little foam part that obviously comes away with the tape, stopping any chatter with the tray in transit. It means that, look, it doesn't matter how many miles or how many couriers have touched this thing, it's not going to end up with anything a little bit untoward um, as far as scratches or marks or something like that. Okay, so we're going to have a look at this. Firstly, it's a CD player. So again, the CD tray and other things are quite obvious. Off to this side, we've got the main power. This is a switch. Um, uh, beside it is the source selection, because this has multiple inputs and outputs. You've got a pure direct mode, which shuts things down, the display and other things along those lines. You've got the CD tray and open and close. You've got play, stop, uh, sorry, play, pause, and then stop. And beside it, you've got skip backwards and forwards. Um, now, pressing and holding, fast forwards or rewinds, depending on the function that you need. 
Um, above that is a child control. I'm going to pause on that a little bit later. Uh, and beside it is a return button. The reason the CD player has this child control, this sort of thing where I'm able to turn it left and right and enter and return, is because this is a lot more than just a CD player. It has the capability of connecting to your network and streaming music off your connected computers, your phone, uh, it'll play MP3s, it'll play WMAs, it'll play FLAC. It's an excellent thing as far as that kind of thing goes. I'm not too sure, I think it's an AirPlay device, but don't quote me on that one. Um, scrolling through your music, if you've got 10,000 songs, well, it's going to be pretty difficult. Well, that's where the app comes in. It's very quick to search and scroll through. It's got an excellent app and it's free, so, you know, no added costs. But if you are scrolling, this actually, actually does a really good job. When you start scrolling quickly, it comes up with a little bar on the screen so that you can sort of very quickly navigate through your music library. And although that quick navigation has no clues, most people will be familiar with whether or not their library has 100 songs or 500 songs and whether or not they're halfway through or two-thirds or whatever it might be. This thing, really, really easy to use and surprisingly robust. I've certainly had no failures with people breaking it or something like that. Looking at the side, it's not very deep. It doesn't need to be. It only needs to be deep enough for the CD tray and obviously for the components associated with the digital to analog converter and the power supply. Looking at the back, you get to sort of see some of the wizardry, or at least most of it's hidden inside, I guess, but some of it nonetheless. You've got your classic analog outputs, left and right, single-ended RCA outputs. These are gold-plated. They're actually gold-plated because this is a really good CD player. Uh, the quality of it is very good, certainly for its price. Beside it is digital outputs. There's both optical and coaxial. It's not unusual, I guess, to have the two, but, but at its price, probably very unusual, to be honest. Beside it is the network socket. Now, this isn't a wireless product and it doesn't have an aerial or something like that, but it does stream over the network. And please, even if you do have wireless capabilities, you should try and use a network cable. It'll be more, more robust and clearly going to be a better option than try to struggle with wireless and passwords and dropouts and things. There's a 5 volt at the back and it's via USB. Now, this isn't designed to be an input for you to choose. You can't jam a USB stick in it. This is designed to power some of the accessories. Um, there's all manner of things that can be connected, but the most obvious is one of the 5 volt based uh, Wi-Fi adapters should it be required. Again, please use the cable if you can. There's some basic information on the back as you would expect, and then over the far side, of course, is the other side of that figure 8 power lead, which of course is the figure 8 socket. So, there we have it. This lovely budget CD player sounds great, looks really good, built really, really well, and astonishing array of features. Here, uh, unboxed and had a look at for the first time is this Yamaha CDN301. Single disc, but multi-format. CD player unboxed here at the listening post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.